Men of a JT score, can I visit Tekra? Hosh, get the knees! Oh my god, you're so tired. And yeah. Tokyo, you know, we're going to share a chick tick. Wrap it up, chef, my kitchen. Evet, geç gördük video konusu yorgunuz. Neyse arkadaşlar bugün The First Go Turk Production Part 1 Our Idea and Passion Bu um, Türkiye'nin tarihinin hakkında galiba Evet, The Dark Turk is the issue Evet, o yüzden um, Evet, bak hani biz biraz biliyoruz yani Türkiye'nin hakkında evet. Yani okulda öğrendik falan filan O yüzden buna yani bakma istiyoruz daha neler bileceğiz buradan ama bir videoya girmeden önce arkadaşlar lütfen abone ol like. videoyu like <gülüyor> videoyu paylaş evet. bizim instagramda takip edebilirsiniz <gülüyor> bizim instagramda yorumda biz şey yazabilirsiniz ve <gülüyor> videoya girelim <gülüyor> What's the name of this thing we watch to react to one day? Uh, Aslan, Dombra. Yeah, yeah Dombra, Dombra, yeah. I don't know. I'm guessing this is how war was, of course, in the olden days. So. Yeah. <laughs> so. Within the heart of a vast continent, there is a crucible, a forge which has shaped the history that was and the history that will be written. It is a place where men and women were thrust. This is this is Cyprus. Cyprus. This oh, is Africa. you have a very nice eye. Small, Conflict, not because of choice, but because of necessity. In the Dark Ages, strife was perpetual within this unforgiving crucible called Central Asia. A sublime landscape of steppes, jagged mountains, and ashen horizons, its children have become legends, admired, emulated. They have ventured forth from their birthplace, preserving their language and culture, crafting a legacy of not one, but numerous empires. These brave and unruly children, the Turks, were not always west of the Caspian or east of the Yangtze. They were underdogs, a minority of blacksmiths, shepherds, and craftsmen, outnumbered and eclipsed by powerful neighbors. In the middle of the six... To be honest, that's true, man. There was, there was a period, like, I don't know whether to call it Turkish people or to call it Ottoman, Ottoman Empire. Empire. They were fighting against, like, five different countries, countries at the same yeah. time. Imagine that. Yeah. Yeah, and then cool. someone inside them was still backstabbing them. Yeah. Armenia. But like how how did they how how did they like conquer how did they? Yeah, like, like we're telling the stories in um, the class, story of, the principal, the class, class, mm -hmm. class of I was like, what? How? Yeah. What is this, right? Like yeah, yeah, those those they even for Russia, right? Yeah, yeah. Was, seriously. Yeah, before Russia changed into an ally. You know, listen. Russia came in from this side. Yeah. Ru Russia was attacking and they defeated Russia. And then yeah. from this side, I think another country, country again. They yeah. defeated I like the French team, the English, the British. Wow. Inside their the own um, neighborhood, there's, there's a group. country already that was fighting them from inside too. Wow. And they like and they were like they were locked down much mm -hmm. like two at that time. You know? yeah. Wow. Wow century scattered by their many enemies and vassalized by the avars turks were assumed to be of no consequence until two adventurous brothers made it their quest to unify the clans and liberate their people forever they would create the first state with the word turk in its very name and ensure that it would not be the last these internet exclusives will detail the story and production of the first Gürkturk, the initial feature film of director Alper Kaglar's much-anticipated Gürkturk trilogy. It is the tale of Boomin and Istemi, two brothers whose exploits would create a series of monumental events that would indirectly shape the history of humanity. One and a half millennia after their founding, Gürk Turks and their legacies remain in the hearts and minds of Turkic people and beyond. The Turkic people, Kazakhstan, huh, Uzbekistan, Uzbekistan, yeah, yeah. No, but yeah, the, yeah, there was a place Tajikistan. that was. Yeah. Oh, sorry, it was in the map when they like differentiated some. I saw one like Kyrgyz. Yeah, yeah, so I don't know, maybe they put all of them together because I didn't see the two. I think men. they were all part of the Ottoman Empire then. Or not? 
I'm not sure, but I know they are talking people. Mm. To Pakistan? No. No. No. No. That's deep in Asia. A meritocratic people who cherished timeless ideals far beyond their time. Guk Turks would foster the exchange of culture. Timeless ideals. A meritocratic people who cherished timeless ideals far beyond their time. Guk Turks would foster the exchange of cultures, secure safe transit for the entirety of the Silk Road, and give unity to the disparate and squabbling peoples of the steppe. They would create an army nation responsible for staggering military achievements and innovations that would change how battles were fought for centuries to come. The Guk Turk trilogy represents a passion project for the director and his crew. Within this first of a series of internet exclusives, we will reach out and inform our most precious allies, the fans. These videos will tell of the concept design process and pre-production voyage of the films. It will showcase the strategic and creative aim. This looks like the Kazakhstan, what's Kazakh it called? Yeah, it does. It looks uh, like well, Kazakhstan yeah. flag. I think they have like, um, I think five stars or something. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. From your performance in school in class. But the wolf that represents the... the uh, Turkish, just their uh, symbol. Turkish army. Kurt. Kurt. Yeah. Kurt. Asena. The project itself introduce the crucial aspects of the mythic storytelling that will be present in the trilogy from the first scene to the last. Welcome to the Gurk Turk Age. Historians have always illustrated the arrival of the Turks by climactic events like the Battle of Malaskirt and the conquest of Istanbul, moments that changed the course of Western history However, as they emphasized these medieval moments, Western historians created a fog of indifference on an even more significant history that reached back millennia. This culture did not begin in Anatolia or the Middle East. They were born 4,000 kilometers to the east in the Altai Mountains. Their many clans journeyed outwards in Asia towards all directions. Today, you can find Turkic peoples from the coasts of the Pacific to the Balkans and beyond. This ethno-linguistic identity goes back to the ancient confederations of the Huns and the Saka. Because their ascent is so dramatic and so far-reaching in consequence, the Gurk Turks have always represented a watershed moment in the history of Turks worldwide. Our passion is to show to the world that they... Wow. Sorry, like, are these people, like, these people, they have a really great impact in like uh, like um the formulation of turkey and all those stuff but i don't think their names were, like came up the ones they've been showing yeah these ones have been showing yeah yeah yeah progenitors of a history broader than the ottoman and seljuk turks alper cat was the heart uh, uh, this like the only one everyone yeah, hears I think about because it's the most recent i guess and I think it was the one that made the most impact. Impact. Mm -hmm. To be honest, my own opinion, because it did a lot. Oh, how did they have this? But this is a long time ago. I don't think they would talk you. about someone like this or this or this. Mm -hmm. This is 1450. I know about this. Uh, Fatsi, something Fatsi. Mm -hmm. I forgot his name. Our loving of views the Gurk Turks as extraordinary outliers. They are the ultimate underdogs with outsized dreams. An epic blend of history and cultural myth. For the director, they are a pure, untainted idea. The possibility of an empire so remarkable that as it exists on the edges of Western history, it forms the bedrock of so the I'm Eastern. Who is this person they keep showing? I, th I think it's the second one, the one from the two, 200 BC. 209 BC. Yeah, it's from the 209 BC. I'm not sure. It looks. That first generation of steppe adventurers must have wondered Wait, where the. Like, we read the Bible and read. Why, why don't we hear about stories like this? But, like, the mm. only thing we hear is like stories about, like, what's it called? About Jesus, the prophet, the prophet. and stuff. But at least once 
ones like stories like this should be what is it should it be detailed. Yes. No, no, not detailed, but at least once we should hear something like this. But it's only about in like and mostly it's countries in the Middle East we even read about in the Bible. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But still they don't, they don't talk know. about like the Turkics and Got all of that. Hmm. Like we only hear about Egypt, what? Palestine, yeah. Israel. Israel. Yeah. Ethiopia, I think. Ethiopia once. once. once. Yeah. Uh, Egypt, yeah, you're yeah. right. Israel. Mm-hmm. But we don't get to hear about the Anatolia region. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. That, like, like, don't they exist that time? Mm-hmm. Do you, I think they talk about Syria in the Bible. Yeah, Syria. Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know. But why don't they talk about it? Yeah. Must have wondered where the end is. Not the ending or taking of life, but how their story would be remembered. What was that feeling within them? giving them realization that they were in immortal service to their people, to be remembered and loved one and a half thousand years into the future. Too many historians and storytellers view the Dark Ages as the rush of the barbarians, the thrill predator hordes had when they found weaker prey. But the irony is, Gurkturks were considered the prey. They were the dark horses, the long shots, the slim chances. How did Boomin? This is true though. Do you know the whole world sees Turkey as, um, what's it called? As they are the ones like causing. Like a threat or something. Yes. Threat. But in my opinion, in my opinion, I think these guys are just picking on Turkey. Mm-hmm. For no reason. For absolutely no reason. Like, I don't know. I think it's, it's about the history, right? They know they are rich in history. They know the fact that just the country just like they can't go head on we talk it's not it's impossible you know you yeah. can like imagine hearing a story of someone going against five, five strong different at, uh, same at the same time of course you think it's a threat hmm. you think all of them you know so definitely i think that's why so I, the USA. Honestly, mm. I, I can <laughs> i can't get that thing off my head like Facing five, five different, different countries and still yeah. having like less army yeah. than even you understand the, what I'm trying to The ones that are attacking, imagine defending against five countries. Damn, man. that's mad. Stemi and their fellowship know that their hope was not a lost cause. Did they ever consider they would become legends? They must have. For theirs was an old idea made new, an idea made immortal. That idea is the foundation on which the story of the first Gurk Turk rests. Liberty. Wow, it was like I was watching the movie, man. Wait, but they should have, they should have, like... Join us next time in part two when we explore world design within the story and reveal a revolutionary way that you can support the films. Wow. Honestly, I really want to see like this like in the movie. movie. Exactly that's what I'm trying to that's what I was trying to say. Wow. I don't think the movie is out though. The first good to Wow. The first Gok Turk. Is it Gok Turk or Gok Turk? Gok. Gok. Gok Turk. So I think it's about touching everybody that made impact mm-hmm. in shaping Turkey. That's Turkish what history. Mm. Wow. Okay. That was enlightening. To be honest, that was enlightening. Mm-hmm. We we learned the news. We learned we learned mm-hmm. new stuff. <clears throat> and yeah. Evet işte bu arkadaşlar first Gok Turk. Gerçekten çok um, çok iyiydi. İnanılmaz bir tarihi var. Yani Türk, Türkiye'nin tarihi. Hı hı. O yüzden um, bu film gerçekten izlemek istiyorum. <gülüyor> Arkadaşlar lütfen abone ol, like, at, video paylaş. Bizi Instagram'da takip edebilirsiniz. Um, yorum yazabilirsiniz. Ve bir dahaki sefere görene kadar barış.